Okay. That's the way I'm going to start all my videos with that word. Okay. No, anyway, this is what I'm going to do. Tom from Wisconsin at Everything Arrogance. I was wanting to shoot his vigilante at some, some apples. And I thought about doing that too. But I, I really... I even got some apples I don't like right now. And they... Uh, it's just going to be too big of a mess, and I won't be able to get the consistency. So, what I'm really going to go at is just some to see what my FPS is on. Uh, I'm shooting pairs of pellets, and uh, I'll have the list up before I probably do this. I'll show what I'm shooting, and we're going to chronograph them, and we're going to see what kind of destruction, you know, how they flatten out. I'm pretty sure they're just going to get all destroyed and they're going to be like all over the, the kitchen. So, I'm going to have to make it quick. Uh, I am wearing safety glasses. And I'm using this. Bang. Let's put it like that. I'm using this. And we. I don't really have the kind of lighting that y'all have on your lights, so I'm using a. I'm using a. What the hell is this? It's it's a grow light. Let's just put it that way. To so try to create the uh, needed sunlight, so. Here we go. I think what I'll do is I'll test some destroyers first. I got a, I'll shoot a string of destroyers. Let's see if I can even do this crazy stuff inside. I'm pretty sure I can. So here we go. Here's the first one. So come on. I don't know where that pellet went. I was hoping to be able to catch him. Okay, I came right back out. I'm just hitting that head. Three sixty one. These are the heaviest pellets I have. Okay, that's enough for right now. It was eight shots. <clears throat> no misfires. Let's get a quick peek at what these pellets are doing. They're coming back. They're bouncing back at about a two foot, a foot. I had one really bounce back. I think I just hit the wood. So. This would be interesting as comparison. So, here we have a. Here's what they're doing. They're flattening out pretty good. This is the one that hit the wood. Let's see. And I ever clip the. Clip a little bit of the metal. I can't see. My phone sucks. Flattens them out pretty good. Yeah. The other day, Jason Neely, the king of bling, did a, a pretty cool video of him talking about 
when he first got into air guns, what his first air gun was, and like a lot of us, you know, the uh, the Daisy is probably the was our first. Was what really got us into him. And uh, oh, okay. So what I do is I, I put my I put my disc on the on the table like that, and I push all my pellets through to their flush. I think they leave the the pistol better that way. So anyway, this is what we're going to be testing. This is what it looks like. Look those wad cutters in there, some destroyers. And I believe those are some. Uh, Piranhas, those are my heavy ones, and the Gamma Rockets, PBA, some wall cutters and stuff. Anyway, I'll slide this over, see if I can. Okay, let's reload the pistol. Tom from Wisconsin, I'm shooting my vigilante. See, it kind of, I didn't shoot it through any tens or anything. Oh, wow, I'm looking at a pellet that is stuck to the uh, my steel plate that I have screwed on. Man, I believe I hit the I hit something. I'll tell what it was. Three seventy seven, four thirty five. I landed on my shoulder, uh, and it absolutely. Flattened it. See the great harm and risk I'm putting myself in for this testing, y'all. Okay. Duplicate. That landed right over my wrist. Absolutely flattened it. Just pretty much disintegrated it. Another one bounced all the way back. Flattened it out pretty good. Is that four? That was 531, man. It was really flying out of there. I'll be honest, it sounded like a couple pieces came off of that one. Uh, 514. Oh, no, that bounced all the way back into the back room. 356. Got that one. There it is. Another one over here. A couple of these just totally just like 
nothing on it. Okay, we have a couple more shots left. PVA still. Okay, here we go. Wait a minute. That was that was all of it. So the PVA. Let's see if we can find those. the PBAs. There's not much left of them. The skirts are totally gone. Let's see. There's the PBAs. Let's see if I can get a little bit of focus. Action. Okay, so... The PVAs. I would think that these two here were the what do they call them? Piranhas. And man, these I can't even tell what these are. There's not enough of them there to really. I know these ones that are probably really, really flat. There's not much there. These are probably the. I don't know the name of my camera at it. The hell? These right here are probably. Let's see if I can match these up the best I can. Cutters really just and the PBA just kind of like just disintegrate. These heavy ones they tend to hold together a little bit more. But man, I like the way the wad cutter works. Probably the destroyer. These things really get. These are probably the wad cutters. So these lightweight ones really do good. And, Vigilante versus three apples. What did it do? Got some blowback. Went to the first apple. Second apple. Let's look at this. Kind of, kind of stuck into that that last apple on the ass there, the end of the apple. So, two apples easy, no problem. Crossman vigilante. <laughs>